a deliverer will arise for you. You will not be put to shame. You will sing and shout for joy. Only believe and you will see the glory of God. In our daily devotional today, I'm here to let you know that you need a deliverer to get the victory and the breakthrough that you desire. My scriptural reading today will be taken from the book of Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 27b. The book of Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 27b says, And in the time of their trouble, when they cried to you, you heard from heaven, and according to your abundant mercies, you gave them deliverers who saved them from the hand of their enemies. I pray that today, the Lord will give you a deliverer. By his mercy, he will listen to your cry. The word of the Lord says, And in the time of their trouble, when they cried to you, you heard from heaven, and according to your abundant mercies, you gave them deliverers, who saved them from the hand of their enemies. The background story of our text today is how God delivered his children from the land of captivity, from the hands of their oppressors, when they cried to God, when they repented from their sins. He set them free. He delivered them from the hand of their oppressors. He sent a deliverer to them. I pray for you today that God will send a deliverer to you. In what area of your life do you need a critical help? In what area of your life do you need a deliverer? I want you to believe God today. A deliverer will arise for you. Is it in the area of earth? Is it in your body? Is it in your finances? In your job? In your career? I want you to believe the word of God today that a deliverer will arise for you. Is it in your spiritual life? Is it in your marriage? Is it over your children? Is it in your family? Is it in your ministry? Is it in a specific project or assignment in your hand? I want you to believe God. God will send help to you today. A deliverer will arise. The Bible made us to know today that when the children of God cried to him in the land of captivity, in the land of bondage, he gave them a deliverer who saved them from the hand of their enemies. He gave them a deliverer who delivered them from the hand of their oppressors. You see, in the challenges that you are facing right now, there is somebody somewhere who God can use to set you free to deliver you from that burden of life. There is somebody somewhere who has the knowledge, who has the skill, who has the ability, who has the resources and the contacts to provide a sad solution to the problem and the challenges that you are facing right now. God will send you a deliverer. God will send you helper at the point of your need. I want you to believe today in accordance to the word of God that you need a deliverer. You need a deliverer. You need a helper. You see, to assist David in ascending the throne of his father, in ascending the throne of Israel, a Jonathan was needed. In order for Joseph to become what God wanted him to become, a butler was needed to tell the king about Joseph. In order for Esther to become a queen and the deliverer of Israel from calamity, a Mordecai was needed. If Solomon would successfully build the lost temple, then a king Iram would be in place. Even Jesus our Lord, for his ministry to be introduced to the community of Israel, a John the Baptist was needed. You need a deliverer in life. You need an epa. You need somebody to arise. I pray that the deliverer that will launch you into your destiny, into your fulfillment, shall come without any further delay. You need a deliverer. In what area of your life do you need a deliverer? In what area of your life do you need critical help? Is it in the area of your head? Is it in your body? Is it in your finances? Is it in your marriage? Is it in your ministry? Is it over your project or any assignment that you have attained? I want you to believe today. 
God will send a deliverer to you. A deliverer will arise for you. Help will come from Zion. You will not be put to shame. You will sing for joy. You will shout for joy. A deliverer will arise for you. You will not be put to shame. You will sing and shout for joy. Only believe and you will see the glory of God. I would like to read the promise of God to you right now. In the book of Isaiah chapter 49 verse 17. Pay attention to what the word of the Lord says. Your sons shall make haste. Your destroyers and those who laid you waste shall go away from you. A deliverer will arise for you. You will not be put to shame. You will sing and shout for joy. Only believe and you will see the glory of God. I pray that the deliverer that you need right now, in order to get the victory and the breakthrough that you need, that you desire, shall come to you without any further delay. In the book of Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 27b, the word of the Lord says, And in the time of their trouble, when they cried to you, you heard from heaven, and according to your abundant mercies, you gave them deliverers, who saved them from the hand of their enemies. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried to you, you heard from heaven, and according to your abundant mercies, you gave them deliverers, who saved them from the hand of their enemies. I would like to pray with you right now. Let's talk to a great deliverer who is able to deliver you from every circumstance, from every situation that you find yourself right now. Let's go before him in our prayer right now. Eternal Rock of Ages, I give you thanks today for the people that have listened to your word. I thank you because you are our present help in the time of trouble. You are our present help in the time of need. Lord, I'm praying for your people today in the challenges that they are going through. I pray that you will send a specific help and a specific helper. You will send a deliverer to them out of Zion today. I pray for their projects. I pray for their assignments. I pray for their finances. I pray for their marriages. I pray for their children. I pray for their heads. I pray for their body system. I pray you will send help from Zion today. Let there be total recovery. Let there be a way out. Let your people never be ashamed. I pray you will answer them speedily from Zion today. And I pray that they will recover all that they have lost. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. I hope you have been blessed today by this life-changing insight from God's word. I pray that the blessings of the Lord will rest upon you and you will be abundantly fruitful. If you are passing by for the first time, I enjoy you to like, to follow, to subscribe and share this message with your friends, with your family and your loved ones. God bless for doing that. I'm Rede Benro. Until I come your way next time, remember the word of the Lord today, a deliverer will arise for you. That will be your testimony. God bless. Bye for now.